Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Mike the Muppet Modeler here. And before we get started, I would like to say a big thank you to all my subscribers, both new and existing. Your participation is very much appreciated, thank you very much. And after the um, visit to RIA, uh, REF Fairford at the weekend, um, subscribers have gone up to just over 700 so the channel is growing really really well thank you very much I can't be more appreciative um, as you can see uh, we got the 8 ton half track again on the bench and so I'm going to see if we can do a little bit more on it zoom in a little bit hopefully can keep within frame and um, what I've done is I've just added a steering wheel just need a little bit of sanding done there and on here used a little bit of filler a little bit of, just to fill in the, the small gap that was around the side and also I haven't not long ago put a little bit of filler into that gap there which I made because I ballsed up basically Or should I say, because of my error. But it's uh, not done too bad. Added the handles onto the back there. There's one needs to go there and one there. That's all good. But that's other than that, that's all good. Um, this section here, which is way down here, has a spare wheel. Um, they fit nice and it fits nice and snug. Goes on there like that, but obviously needs a tire on it. And the tyres are beige colour, beige colour rubber. Really good, they just pop in there like that. Job done. But uh, obviously, I want them tyre colour, so I need to paint those up. But what I thought I might do today, or in this video, is just try and get the front buttoned up. This section here. It's a bit fiddly, a bit tricky, I think. I've had a couple of dry runs at it. <coughs> and uh, this section, this forward section here was bent out of shape and I had to bend it in to get it right um, in place but it still needs the upper part needs pushing in and twisting round a bit so that we can get it fitting properly so then what I'd have to do is just glue that one side and then try try and get that stuck first
before I actually try and get the other side done. Ooh. It is a bit of a pain in the butt ski you could do. You can't really clamp do it put it and clamp it or any or anything like that. But um to do with having about six hands. But we get there. As I mentioned, I um, went to Riyadh on Saturday with a very good friend of mine. The weather was meant to be absolutely horrific, but it didn't turn out too bad. Um, see all, saw quite a few things flying and doing their displays, but a couple of things that we did go to see didn't fly which was unfortunate but did fly yesterday so we missed out that one of those being the ME262 which obviously is quite a rare aircraft to see around would have been nice to have seen it but the wind was just too strong and they wouldn't put it, they wouldn't send it up so which is fair enough Got to think of safety of everybody. Just a shame, that's all. Hopefully when the front end goes on, the bonnet and such. Oh, a bit broke off again. Do a little bit of CA glue on there maybe. Let's see that.
And then after this build, I think I'm actually going to have a go at the B17 and diorama that I want to do for it as well. Oh, there are a couple of parts on this which I'm going to leave till the whole of the body's complete really. You've got um, the lights, two lights on each side which I'm not going to put on because I know full well that if I do I'm going to knock it off. So uh, I'm going to leave it for now. So what I'm going to do is we do this this part here goes on the left bumper or fender or whatever however you want to call it whatever you want to call it do that bit next then we might, may well move over to start this part. That'd be interesting having to take that off. Hmm. I wonder why. It's the back part. Do, 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 do. Maybe to accommodate these part, this part here, I think. Let's well, follow the instructions. See what happens. So we will need. three and four just obviously these parts here and I7 
Do 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 do. Sorry, guys, just changing a blade. Precise. There you go, Mike. I've changed my blade. <laughs> Little private joke now. <clears throat> right, so. We have this piece. And we have that piece there. doesn't go like that at all. Read the instructions, Michael. that goes there like that
Yeah, no, I think. Oh, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Great stuff. Me so like this. Nice one. And then we got this piece. Which basically goes underneath there like so. Cool. Really cool. This is another reason why I haven't put those handles on yet because keep handling it, <coughs> going to end up knocking them off. This will be another part that will be done later on. It's not too far from the end of the build now. which means that I need to get this engine painted up pretty soon obviously this part all the body and everything will need to be done pretty soon D23 Right now, on 
on this side it's got the line where to cut which is nice difficult Sorry if this is a little bit out of shot. We just need to hold it closer to the body to keep it more stable. These ones can go to the uh, spares box now. So now I'm using a new blade, new side cutters. Do, 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 do. Job done. Yep, be careful. So I have been careful. We've got loads of bits and pieces to put on. So let's start with this I6 and I2. Bruce finished. Just see if I can uh, take the little burrs off of it. Some nice little. Uh, detail it's 
nice little ends of the pipes. Goes on there. Like that. there for a second to set up properly or set go off properly I want D9, D48 and D22 Maybe Maybe I've got it in here So it's not that. <laughs> On the bottom of the box. There we go. So that's fine. That's good. Glad I found that. Didn't want anything else going missing on me. Apex, so I don't really want to be cutting that back. 
person that goes there like that. Looks really smart. MA1, MA2. So I think that is possibly Fight Witch. needle that I use bit of CA. Oh, these are meant to bend. Yes. 
on there like so the end edges are bent over which it doesn't actually show Uh, help it to kind of look the part if you like actually I'm not going to use CA glue for the next bit I'm going to try the other one that I've got is the ultra glue for photo etch and clear parts. Give that a bash. use the end of the needle I haven't really used this for photo etch so I don't really know how it's going to perform but I suppose there's only one way to find out Give it a go. There's not a lot of gap there. Yes, yeah, we got it there. We've got it. We got it. We got it. does stick up a little bit because there's no gap that's cool it's cool you just stop playing around with it and let it glue let it, let it stick obviously D46, put that back on for a minute.
give too much of a sand because they're meant to be round so I don't want to flatten them off feeling I might be wrong but that has to go there I think So like that. But it doesn't. Oh bugger. Never mind. It's not broken, so that goes back on there like that So what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to leave it there because I've got to uh, take my youngest to the eye hospital for an appointment in about an hour's time. So I hope you've enjoyed this bit of a mishmash video, um, well as most of them are really. Um, 
and when we come back hopefully we'll get some get this section finished and then get some airbrushing done engine German grey and get this painted up get the tyres painted up <clears throat> and probably get this sprayed up and the front so that we're all pretty much together for the most part and we can start getting things assembled properly so again as I say thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next one bye for now